Hey everybody, I just want to do a quick reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I was trying to figure out, I said, who I should do a reading for? Who should I do one for? And it came up to Cancer. Everybody else seems like they got some shit going on when I thought of, when I thought of the other signs. They got some, they got some shit going on, so. To Cancer it is, Cancer it is. What does Spirit have in store for you today, Cancer? Uh, you know, I keep... This is a channel of swapping camera angles, okay? So, I don't know why. I cannot get satisfied on a camera angle. I just can't find one that satisfies me. Cancer, what does spirit have to show you, Cancer? I wanted to come out real bad. Ten of Wands. The struggle is real. And the tower. Ooh. So you are struggling with this tower moment right here, Cancer. This tower is coming down and you are having a hard time dealing with it. First card is strongest, so it's probably just going to tell us a whole bunch of struggles that you're having at this moment. You had two of cups. Maybe it's a realization about love. Or maybe you're struggling to manage how to work out with your soulmate. Then we got the full Aries energy. Um, this is somebody who may be uh, a very, very free-spirited type of person. Somebody who um, is trying to start something, it looks like. Mm, two of Swords. This could also be somebody that you had cut off previously, or somebody that is make like force you to make a hard decision. By the way, if you like these cards, there's the Everyday Tarot, Everyday Wish Tarot. I thought that we should bring them out for Halloween. Just saying. What's at the bottom of this deck? The Hangman. Mm. Sacrifices, sacrifices, sacrifices. Sacrifices are not being made, but it looks like to make this work, they're going to have to be made. I don't know if you're ready to make them yet, though. Not of swords. Yeah, you're still ruminating. You don't know if you're ready to make it yet. I like these cards. They're so pretty. Wheel of Fortune. Mm. You feel like it's not time to release that cycle yet, or that the cycle is not over. Mm -hmm. You could be dealing with any um fixed sign with this too. Leo, um, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. The Taurus of Scorpio card too. You got nine of wands. Okay, so you're tired of struggling. Like, you were struggling and you're tired of it. Like, you're, like, above and beyond done. Page of Swords. And you're stalking people. You could be stalking this fool. Four of Cups. But you're not accepting the offer. Or not making an offer. One of the two. Knight of Swords. Okay. So, yeah, you were sitting there struggling, and this time woman came rushing in, and it forced you to deal with fate that you weren't ready to deal with at, you know, at that particular moment. Um, this Knight of Swords could be an air sign, Leo, Aquarius, or Gemini. This could be a person. It just could be a realization, though. I'm just getting, like, it's just a sudden, like, Somebody said something to you that hit that hit you with a tire moment, and you just were just like, "Whoa, taking off balance here." The devil. So this is a Capricorn card. Um, it could just be like you realizing negative energy that you put out there, and things that you stopped yourself from doing in love, or you realizing that somebody else you thought um, was an angel is has a whole bunch of negative energy with them. 
Like, it just could be a lot of things um, in here. But I'm mostly getting that um, you have a realization about your negativity and about your negative perception of certain things. It's been a blockage for you. Page of Pentacles, yeah. So, you're realizing now how you're, it's like a quest for stability has left you stable but by yourself type thing. Like, with this Page of Pentacles in reverse, like, you don't want to, um, not that you're not stable or not that you don't, like, you're not, it's hard to put, hard way to put it, like, you're not entertained by that thought anymore. That thought does not entertain you. Like, you've risen above that fear that you have to worry about where money is going to come from. Because you know that money is going to come as long as you work to get money. Like, you, you know, like, erasing that fear and that dependence and that, unhe like, you're trying to get more healthy relationships with things in your life. Um, money could be one of those things. Uh, family, you know, cancers are very family oriented. So it's like you're really trying to get, um, get some things in order here. King of Pentacles. This could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, yeah, so I'm getting that maybe you could also be trying to um, not listen to anybody else offer you anything else. You're just trying to do it for yourself. Yeah. With this Two of Swords and this Four of Cups here, I'm getting that you are not looking for anybody who to do it for you. You want to do it. You're doing it for yourself. You may want someone to make it a little bit easier, but you don't want them to fully take over. Or at least pretend that they're going to take over and then not actually take over because I'm getting that too. Like, that's where this tire moment is really, really, like, strong here. And it's a really, it's a, like, this ten of wands, the struggle with it is strong for you guys. I'm gonna pull a romance angel card because I feel like there's some love involved here. Mm. Yeah, so this person is a soulmate. You may be in separation. Or you may be beginning to go in separation because of these tower moments that you're having and you're like, I don't want to put them on anybody else. I'm just having them by myself at this moment. Mm -hmm. Just me, don't mind me, just sitting here, suffering slowly. Don't mind me, though. Nothing to worry about here. Lonely cancer, going through it again. Another thankless act. <laughs> oh, so cancer. Not mention I'm a cancer rising. <laughs> so I was like, I channel it, I just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, another thankless act. Another thankless act. Do we not have anything for you guys? Yeah, what we, was that just it? Year in separation? No hopeful? Nothing? For the romance angels? Angels? I've been shuffling for a minute here. Oh, there's children. There could be children involved, or children like somebody wanting to have kids, somebody not wanting to have kids. It could be a few different things, but children is definitely um, uh, an object of the issue here. And also codependency. Codependency is also an issue right here. Okay. I'm going to pull, oh. I'm gonna pull uh, a Lilith card for you, actually. Okay, Cancer, what does your dark side have to say, Counselor? Counselor, Counselor. Counselor, Counselor. Counselor, Counselor. <laughs> I don't know why I like saying that like that. Y'all, I'm a weirdo. So if y'all here, then you must like weirdos. King of Cups and Judgment. Okay, so emotionally, spiritually, you are getting bossed up here. 
um, with this judgment, I'm also getting that, um, this is a Scorpio card. I'm also getting that, um, you know, you could be dealing with a Scorpio at all, Cancer. But, um, I'm also just getting that you are really doing that introspective work. Like, that tower is making you do that work and you're judging yourself a lot. And your dark side is kind of judging you too, which is probably not helping. You got the moon in reverse. That's your card, Cancer, in reverse. The Ten of Wands, again, with the struggle, and the High Priestess. So, really, you're struggling on how to trust your intuition and not your emotions. Because the moon would be your emotions, and the High Priestess is um, Pisces energy, or it could be you guys as well, but it's also your intuition. So, the struggle here, as you're having this time moment, is how do you trust what you, how do you trust what spirit is telling you versus how you feel like how do you trust something that you don't see how do you trust um something that's happening in maybe the spirit world but it's not happening in the 3d okay yeah and we're not doing all those cards because mm -hmm. it was you see the stack of cards that came out we're not doing all those so we're just going to shuffle them back in here see if we got anything else this is already like the energy from people's dark sides is crazy. Kind of cool, but crazy. Okay. Here we go. Why well, do those? We got the King of Swords in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse and Eight of Cups in reverse. So emotionally, you're just running and hiding. You're not accepting help from anybody. And you are not thinking logically right now either. So whatever you're, whatever is happening, you're thinking about it emotionally, which is overwhelming you. But whatever this time moment is, and you can't let go of this negative energy that you keep putting yourself in because you keep thinking emotionally and keep going back to thinking emotionally and how this thing affected you emotionally instead of just moving on. Which sounds mean, because trust me, I have a hard time with it too, but it's just like, you just gotta just leave it there. And I don't mean leave it there, like as in like just leave it sitting in your energy, but like get it out of your energy and just leave it out. Or, like, just throw it away. Just throw it out. Just get it out. So it can just be done. All right, Cancer. Well, this has been a nice little weird reading for y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did or anything resonated with you, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. You all have a beautiful, blessed day. Sending you lots of love and light. Bye.